Hello and welcome. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to set up and manage your focus cards. All right, so what we're looking at here is uh, some basic fo focus card output. And it really just consists of three elements that you need to be aware of here. The first one is an image. The second one is a card title. And the third one is the card text. So three different things, image, title, text. All right, so let's flip over to the uh, WordPress admin here. And to set up your first focus card, you're gonna wanna look on the left side WordPress dashboard menu. You're gonna look for the focus cards item and you can click add new focus card. On this page, you can add the title. So the title is gonna correspond to this. Then you've got your text. The text goes here. And then you can set a featured image and that's gonna be the big image that goes with your card. There are no restrictions on the images that you can use. You can use any aspect ratio you want. So anything that, that's wide enough to work for whatever, whatever presentation you'd like to make, you can use. Uh, so I'm, we're gonna to go to a card that's already set up so I can show you the specific options you're going to wanna to mess with as you set up your cards. Okay, so after you set up a card and it's live, you'll get a card short code, which you can use to output your card wherever you like in your WordPress environment. Uh, but here's really what I wanna focus on is these options down here at the bottom. So we've got specific focus card options. Number one is to always center card content. Uh, this particular one, you can see the text is aligned to the left. For some presentations, this is going to be suitable. Typical bullet points, you're gonna need your text aligned to the left. Uh, I'll show you an example, like on DIYthemes.com, I have a little bit of a different setup and I have all of my content centered here. So I've chosen the centering option on my cards that I've deployed on DIYthemes.com. So this is how you would do that. You would select to center it. In fact, we can just update it and see our changes here. You can see how the bullet points get a little wonky if they're centered. So you'd have to make some adjustments to a regular bullet, bulleted list to get it to display properly if it were centered. Uh, but that's just, that's how you would do, center your content if that's what you wanna do. You can elect not to display the title in the card output. Maybe you just want the title to be uh, something that you are able to reference here it, where you manage all your cards. So like you can, you can just refer to it very quickly, but perhaps you don't want this text to be outputting here. Maybe it's redundant, maybe it already appears in the image, that kind of thing. So you can, you can elect not to display the title. Uh, if you're including something hardcore like an HTML form in your card, you may wish to disable automatic uh, paragraph tags to, because that will give you the output that you want. Uh, if you have the paragraph tags in there, your final output might include a lot of unwanted spacing. So this would be one way to uh, attack that and solve that problem. Uh, next, we've got quite a few linking options here, which are very interesting. So by default, your image is not going to be linked if you, uh, you know, add an image to a card. But you can link this image anywhere you like uh, by adding a custom featured image link, which I've done here to link you to the focus product page. And that makes this clickable. And quick note, we find when we do usability testing that people instinctively seek to click on images. And if they're not clickable, then they'll look for something else. So I think it's a good idea to add a link to your images to make them clickable if that's applicable to your, you know, whatever you're doing with your cards. We can also link the card title if you want. Uh, you could include a link up here, uh, include the HTML markup, but that, that's going to be wonky, so you don't want to do that. If you want your title to be linked, this is the proper place to add the link that you want to uh, the destination URL. Um, some people uh, like to see their entire cards be clickable. So there's certain circumstances where you might want the entire thing to be clickable. Let's say I want uh, the customer user to go to the focus product page when they click anywhere on this card. Uh, all I would need to do to do that is specify a, uh, a link for the entire card. Now, quick note, if you specify a link for the entire card, all of these other links are invalidated. They will not appear in the markup. And you could run into a situation where you get invalid HTML output in your cards if you include any links inside them. 
So if you're going to use the entire card linking option, you need to make sure you do not have any links in your card content. Okay, so we'll take a look at that real quick. And boom, the whole thing is linked here. It shouldn't be, uh, the style shouldn't be rendering this way. I'm gonna have to go in and tweak those. Uh, the text will not be underlined. It will just look like normal text, but the entire card is going to be clickable. All right. Moving on, then we have a custom card class option. This is probably not going to be useful for most people, but I put this in there for very hardcore differentiation type purposes. So uh, you've already set up your, your basic desired card styles. Maybe you're using the standard style like I am here. Uh, but let's say you've got one particular card that you want to deviate from your, your basic card output format. You can use this custom card class to do that. Yeah, I've got some here, card soft, for example. And if I were to add this, and then if I also added custom CSS to make any card that includes this class behave differently, I could then make this card appear a little bit differently from the rest of the cards on my site. It's just uh, one uh, extended, more flexible feature in case you want to use it. Probably not going to come up, but it's there in case you need it. And the last thing I want to point out that you're going to want to pay attention to as you create your cards is you can supply a group. You can actually add as many of these as you want to each card, but you might want to group your cards together. Uh, I've got two, two groups here. One's called front page and one, one is called products. The whole point of this is to make it so you can output stuff that's related, cards that are related to one another all at one time. So I'll show you uh, two examples of this. Um, if we go to uh, another sample page I have, over here, we can scroll down, and right now on this page, I am outputting four, four different cards that I specified to output uh, on my front page, we'll say. I called them front page. It's supposed to be stuff I want to display on the front page. Uh, three of these, focus, thesis, and this YouTube thing, these are products, and this thing is not. This is supposed to be a pitch for an email sign-up form. So if I only wanted to display products rather than all of my cards or all of my cards that are on the front page, I can just display all cards from within a particular group. Uh, in another video, I'll show you exactly how to output your cards, but the bottom line is you can group cards together and then output only cards from that group at, at some time if that's what you want to do. This is a really handy management tool and presentational tool that will give you uh, the ability to do stuff like I've done on DIY themes, output two cards. Uh, the, uh, these two might have front page, uh, they might be part of the front page group, and then all I do on this page, I say, hey, give me all the cards from the front page group, and boom, boom, it gives me both of these, and that's a really quick, easy way for me to output the cards that I want where I want. All right, so stay tuned for the next video where I show you how to out output your cards using short codes. And once you master these techniques, you'll be ready to go out and deploy cards on your own website. All right, stay tuned.